What is up geeks and welcome back to the Geek Man Cave. So guys, to celebrate the release of Captain Marvel in cinemas now, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Captain Marvel pager from Infinity War and from the Captain Marvel movie. So without further ado guys, let's find out how to create Captain Marvel's pager. So guys, I'm not going to spend long talking in this video, but what you want to do is get your hands on a pager. Now you can find them online on eBay and Amazon for really cheap. I got mine for about £3 online. Um, you can find them in most charity shops, but if you don't want to use a pager, that's fine. You could use an EVA foam, cut out the shape, but it'd be a lot easier for you to do it with a pager. So I've got a pager quite similar. I'm just going to take it apart so I've got the front bit off. I'm going to keep the other part separate, and then once I finish sticking all the bits on, I can just screw it back together. So what you want to do, guys, once you've got the front off, you want to cut away the front piece. The front piece at the bottom left, as you can see on the image on my phone, there's a small section that's cut away, so I'm going to use my Dremel just to cut away that bottom part and then use my sander to sand it down. When you're happy with the front of your pager, what you need to do is get some foam boards, some one millimeter thick foam board. And what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna use uh, our picture online and my phone to scale the picture to the same size as the pager. That way, when I draw out the parts, I can measure the different pieces out of foam board, cut them out, and then hot glue them straight onto the pager. To get the part at the top, what I did is cut out a smaller shape and then cut the foam board in half so I've got a flatter piece, that way I can stick it over the top to give it that 3D effect. To add the bolts and screws, I'm going to use these adhesive gems I used before on my Venom container just to stick either side to give it that effect of those small bolts you see on the pager. With all the pieces now hot glued on, I want to add a special effect light. So I picked up this shaky lighter ball from the pound shop, and basically what I'm gonna do is cut it open and get the LED light from inside. To mask the blue LED light, because we only want the red LED light, I'm just going to hot glue a little bit of black leather that I'm using for other pieces of the pager to cover over the blue light. Then what I'll do is hot glue the red light at the base of the pager. With all the pieces hot glued together, I'm going to finish off with some extra detail. I printed out a picture of the Captain Marvel pager symbol that we see inside the pager. And what I'm going to do is just cut that out and hot glue it inside the screen part of the pager. Then I'm going to finish off by colouring the whole thing in black paint.
Finish off by using some silver acrylic paint to dry brush all across your pager to give it the pager effect. With that done, we're ready for the final reveal. There we have it, Geeks, your very own Captain Marvel pager, ready to use in case of an emergency. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos of the Geek Man Cave. And remember, guys, it's your cave, your rules, and I'll see you next time.